Okay, so today I wanted to talk to you about some of the um, supplements and herbs that I'm taking um, to help in this journey to health and healing. Uh, you guys saw earlier in one of my videos where I was getting in the um, the sauna for uh, long periods of time, like about 30 to 45 minutes, and then getting into an ice bath for about 30 seconds to a minute. And uh, so I just wanted to like cover that a little bit again and then um, go over some of the uh, products that I'm taking um, that are just like herbal stuff and some other things. So anyways, but I, I have my computer here in front of me because I can't memorize every single thing. But what I wanted to talk about is the, um, the far infrared, infrared sauna that I'm using here. And um, it's, uh, it's by far one of the most uh, common used, especially in like commercial saunas, but it helps actually to pull toxins from the body and lower my blood pressure, which is good because right now with my tumor having sitting on my kidney and my kidney not working so well, um, my blood pressure has been high, which is not normal for me. Those of you who know me know how fit I have been most of my life and my blood pressure has always been really, really low. But um, just this past um, several months, it's been high. And so doing the sauna has been helping with that. Um, and also, of course, being in the sauna, like I said before, is to raise my temperature to help fight any infection that I may have going on in my body, whether I've come in contact with a virus or bacteria, so it's really helpful in that. And also, um, the sauna and the ice bath both produce a thing called hormesis, and what that is, is that's the hormonal change that occurs after a short period of positive stress on the body. And I am reading that because it's real hard for me to remember, uh, to memorize everything um, that I'm doing and going through. Um, but anyways, so then the cold therapy that I'm actually doing is, um, it's, it's a brief cold water stress that over many um, months or even weeks could actually enhance anti-tumor immunity and improve, improve cancer survival. So we, I, you know, I already have written a book um, in the past and talk about, uh, it's a fitness book, but I talked about um, using ice baths or cold showers for activating brown fat. Well, this is just another part of that, um, the, uh, part of what that can do. That brown fat is so very highly metabolically active um, that it is actually something that's going to uh, over the over the long haul help to possibly even help shrink that tumor so those are some of the things so the other couple of things that I'm taking is uh, my dear friend happens to be Jane Barlow Christensen I'm very fortunate to know her I've known her for years and um, her father was a master um, herbologist and uh, she herself has become that and he um, discovered a plant called Lomatium and it's the uh, it's called Lomation dissection dissectum, and she actually has made um, has carried on his legacy, and so the four products that she has me on, she actually has an anti cancer protocol that I am following that they follow at the West Clinic that you've seen me go to, and um, many many other places uh, all over the country. So the LDM which is the Lomation Dissectum, is a broad, spec, broad spectrum antimicrobial. And so what that's doing is it's, in, it's boosting my immune system and helping to keep my immune system as the chemo is trying to, of course, tear it down because it's trying to tear down the cancer and the side effect is, of course, my immune system. It's helping to keep that boosted. And then um, she has me on Essiac 20 and this is a powerful blood cleanser and purifier. And it has six herbs that has incredible anti-cancer properties. So I'm taking that. I'm also using VFT, which is venous flytrap. Now venous flytrap actually can sh help shrink the tumor because it's an immune modulator. And it's kind of like a scavenger. It can go in and engulf and destroy bacteria. So that's why she has me on the venous flytrap. And then the last thing she has me on is called East Star, and it is four herbs that facilitate T cell function and provides an anti-mutagenic benefit. So um, though she has me on those four. I take, um, they come in like a tincture, and I take a dropper full of each of those three times a day. So 
The other couple of things that I'm doing, we uh, I already told you I'm also doing high dose vitamin C uh, at the West Clinic and uh, some other therapies that I can't, um, you know, like insufflation and stuff, but Dr. West has me on a whole protocol. When I go back again, I'll, um, I'll get the list of everything he's doing for me. Um, so I'm also using CBD and THC. So, you know, uh, cannabis has been around it one of the one of the main big studies of it has been in um, the use of cancer and I'm not uh, I don't like to be high I, I um, don't I don't like it at all so but so I don't smoke anything I actually take like CBD drops and THC um, I do the gummies and I t take THC at night because the effects of course are that I kind of get a little loopy and it helps me actually to really really sleep and also um, the CBD has a dual effect actually both on tumor and uh, endothelial, uh, endothelial cells so um, it has uh, the potential as an effective agent in cancer therapy plus um, the THC can actually slow cancer growth, inhibit formation of new blood cells that feed the tumor and help, of course, manage pain, fatigue, nausea, and other side effects of chemo. So that's the reason that I'm taking those. Um, you'll see in my little uh, picture there that I have, a, I have people sending this to me from all over. <laughs> so thank you if you're one of them. Um, it's, it's fantastic. So um, I have uh, suppositories, I have um, sublinguals, I have gummies, I have cream, it's great. Um, so anyways, I just wanted to let you know on this journey that what I'm doing, today's a really good day for me, I'm feeling super great. Uh, I still have days where I crash, I don't like those days so much, so I'm probably not too often going to videotape on those days because I want you to see me happy and healthy, which... I believe I am and again I'm on this journey I kind of feel like I'm already healed because I'm just gonna believe it and I do have a CT scan coming up on the uh, 9th of November I meet with my oncology surgeon on the 12th and my thoughts are she's gonna do the CT scan and say where's the cancer it's gone and so I want to be that medical miracle but um, also I'll keep you posted on that but my plan is that and have no cancer and um, so maybe I don't have to do surgery but we'll see what happens with that so talk to you later